All right, what is up guys? In this video, I will be covering what you need to know for OSCP SMB. So I'm surprised I've not covered this topic yet. I haven't even made this video because this is a very important thing to know, to understand when it comes to OSCP. You'll constantly be seeing SMB open. That's port 445. So if you get an NMAP scan back and you see 445 is open, you want to be looking into SMB. Now, I know traditionally there's been a lot of uh, really critical RCE vulnerabilities on SMB where you can just pop the shell. That might help you a little bit in the OSCP labs, but to be honest, that's not going to help you on the exam because they're not going to give you such easy boxes where uh, all you need to do is exploit a vulnerability in SMB, fire up Metasploit, and get a shell, right? You won't see any Eternal Blues or MSO 67s on there. So really when you see SMB, uh, what you're going to need to know for OSCP in that case is you're going to need to know how to enumerate it, how to see what shares are available on the uh, server, right? And see what uh, level of access you have to any of those shares. Do you have read access to anything? Uh, maybe you can find some sensitive files by reading it uh, from the share. Do you have write access? Maybe you can upload something to help further gain uh, access onto the system. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to enumerate and interact with SMB more in that way rather than just point and click exploits. Uh, but basically, yeah, there's a number of commands. And if you have my notes, and if you don't, check them out down in the uh, description below, my free notes for the OSCP. Uh, I have a lot of commands on there, a lot of information on there. Uh, but one of the things I have is a bunch of notes on SMB. And I'm going to be referencing a bunch of the stuff from there in this video. But I'm also going to be giving you some new stuff that I learned about along the way in between uh, when I first gave out those notes and now. So definitely stay tuned. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I have a box uh, here one of the hack the box boxes. And uh, the first thing, like say we ran the Nmap scan and we saw 445 is open. The very first thing that I'm gonna wanna know is what shares, if any, are available. So SMB client is a really good command line utility to use for that. Dash L would be to list the shares. And uh, then I would say dash dash and then the, the host name or the IP address, typically what I would do. And we'll just enter a blank password here. And yeah, in this case, you see a number of different shares. Now, typically, you'll always see like an admin share, sysvol, netlogon, IPC. But what is different in this case is you have this forensics one. And uh, you have the C, C drive share and his profiles. Those are just ones to kind of point out to you what is a little bit out of the ordinary, right? So, okay, now we know what's available, but we can't really tell from this output what we do or don't have access to. So the way we would go about doing that is typically, I mean, you have a few options, right? But I would typically prefer to run SMB map in this scenario, do it with the dash H flag and then supply the IP address. And this is also a good time to note that uh, so typically what that would do is list the shares and the permissions, right? But yeah, what I was going to say is this is a good time to note that if you do have any credentials, any SMB credentials, you could put them in here. It, by not supplying anything, I'm, I'm saying basically an anonymous access. What do I have uh, anonymous access to? And sometimes you will find you have anonymous access that you can gain some pretty lucrative information, maybe some credentials to further exploit the system, whatever the case may be. So definitely something to check for. Uh, in this case, it didn't list anything interestingly en enough. It could just be that uh, we don't have any permissions on these, but we can, you know, definitely a good idea to try multiple tools, right? If there was a certain share we wanted to see, for example, like the C share, we could specify that here and run something like this to see, okay, I just want to know with this share what the case is, you know? So those are some different ways that we can use things as well. Um, in addition to that, the uh, crack, map, crack Map Exec is a pretty good tool that I haven't really went into on this channel and I haven't really talked about 
uh, the functionality of it either, but it, it's got a lot of different things it can do. But one of those things is that you can uh, actually look at uh, SMB stuff. And the cool thing is, the really nice thing is it will actually tell you the underlying operating system, which is pretty amazing. Uh, back in the day, the only tool I could do that with was, um, and this was two years ago, was Enum for Linux. And had, it was old then. At this point, it is completely deprecated. Like, I, I would not advise using Enum for Linux. I know they were really offensive. Security was really saying, hey, use this tool for SMB. I don't know if they're still pushing that one. I mean, I hope not. But yeah, definitely don't use that tool. It's super outdated. Use SMB map, SMB client, or even crack map exec in place of that. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that that tool would do is it would predict the uh, operating system. And so now, or you could use the Metasploit module, but right, you only have that once per uh, per exam, right? So only one box. So wouldn't want to use that. Now this is a way to basically use it without having to do that. Um, I'll show you here. So what we can do is say SMB, give it the IP address, and then say uh, dash dash shares. And it will uh, try to look at your permissions on the different shares, right? So user session deleted. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, to be honest with you. Uh, let me know down in the comments section below if you've seen that one. I think what is going on here is we don't have access to it anymore. Or to any of these in particular, right? But yeah, with SMB client, we can see, uh, we, can, we can actually see the shares from that one. But yeah, it did predict uh, Windows 10 and this build here. So uh, pretty pretty nice for that uh, functionality, most definitely. And SMB v1 is disabled is another thing you can see from here, and it, it does implement SMB signing. But uh, let's see here. I mean, if you do go the Metasploit route, what you could do is use the auxiliary scanner SMB, SMB version. So just imagine that I was in... You know what? I'll, I'll fire it up just to show you guys in case you want to know the Metasploit way. It's like a good to know type of thing, right? But uh, let me see here. I want to make sure that I'm covering all my bases. Now with SMB client, right? Say you had, let's just use the hypothetical scenario that you had some credentials uh, to SMB and you wanted to use those to connect to the shares, right? So if you want to use SMB client to do that, you could do that. And don't give it dash L. We don't want to list shares. We want to actually connect to a share. So in that case, we do that. IP address. And then the specific share. Let's say we had access to that C share with a certain account. And then you, username. So let's say admin, for example. And then percent sign password. Let's say password is password, right? So we do that. This isn't valid credentials in this case, so it's not going to work. It's going to say access denied. But if it was valid, then we would be able to connect to that C, uh, C share and look through it, maybe even write to it if we had access to do that. Now, I wish the SMB map command was coming back with stuff because normally it would list the stuff. It would list the shares off like this, except there'd be an extra column over here where it would tell you uh, read, write, or, you know, you know, different things like that, right? It would tell you what level of access that you have to each share. So that's what's really useful about that. Um, but yeah, you could also use SMB map to connect to a share as well. And if you wanna, if you wanna do that, you do dash R and then the share name, and then you would do dash H IP address. But that would that would basically just list all the all the files there. In this case, we don't have any uh, any access to do that, so it doesn't come back with anything. Uh, and then you can actually download files from a share as well using SMB Map. And so if you you know once again going back to that example, if you do this, uh, you know give it the share, give it the IP address. H, I believe, is for host. So host IP address. And then you would actually say dash A, and then the name of the file that you wanted to download. So maybe groups.xml. Can run it in quiet mode. Something like that. And uh, that would grab that for you. 
And so, yeah, basically from here, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was if you do go in here, there is an auxiliary module in Metasploit they can use. So let's see, use auxiliary scanner SMB SMB underscore version. And this is good for giving you the version, but also uh, guessing the underlying operating system. That's what that's what I've used it for mostly. And so set our host, and I think that should be it. It should, oops. It should automatically default to port 445 if I could type here. <laughs> yeah, and if you have any credentials, you can put them in here as well. We'll just go ahead and run this. And, uh, oh, okay, wow, yeah, in this case, it wasn't able to identify the host, but in some cases, it will be able to identify it. So, yeah, it looks like crack map, crack map exec might have been better to identify the host in this case. I'm not sure how accurate its prediction was, but uh, it at least had some output there. But, yeah, this is pretty much the only stuff that uh, you really need to know for OSCP, I would say. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything really big, but... Uh, yeah, I would say with those, I mean, of course, you also have some nmap scripts, but typically I haven't really used those too many times. But yeah, just know that you have some nmap scripts that you could uh, look into as well um, when it comes to enumerating this stuff. But for the most part, I would say what you need to know for OSCP, know how to use SMB client, know how to use SMB map, and uh, maybe for good measure, some uh, crack map exec as well. Pretty useful tool that I've started using myself. So, yeah, I hope this video was of help to you. I know it wasn't the cleanest example because of this box in particular and the kind of limited information we're getting from the limited access we had to the actual SMB shares on this box. But, uh, yeah, if anything's unclear, let me know and I can clarify it. Maybe even make another one of these videos where I can really showcase this a little more. I kind of made this on a whim, uh, the, just thinking like, oh, okay, I really need to cover SMB because this is a very important uh, protocol to have a basic grasp of uh, to be successful on this exam. And uh, just good in general to know as uh, someone in security. So, yep. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't to the channel already. Hit the like button to help get that message out there. If you want to see more, go ahead and click on one of the videos on screen right now. What you need to know for OSCP. I got a whole playlist on stuff you need to know. So, yeah, I'll see you right over there in those videos. And thanks for watching.